Welcome back to Queen's Park. Well, Ontario has tabled its largest ever budget and joining me now to discuss it is Minister of Finance, Peter Bethlenfalvy. Thank you so much for joining us. I want to start with requests here in Toronto for more money. The Deputy Mayor has asked you to help bail the city out of a $1.2 billion budget shortfall. Why aren't you giving the city any additional money to cover the costs? Well, first off, we've had lots of uh, conversations and we'll continue to have that dialogue, not just with Toronto, but uh, municipalities right across Ontario. And, you know, the city of Toronto and the big city mayors uh, who I met with, who represent 70 percent of the population, they, their number one ask was mental health and addiction support and supportive housing. That was Toronto's number one ask supportive housing funding for a homeless pre prevention program. They asked for $48 million. We delivered $48 million. I've seen uh, the Deputy Mayor, Jen McKelvey, tweet out uh, her uh, response to that and thanking us for that. So we're, we'll continue to have dialogues uh, on a range of issues uh, that are challenging municipalities right across the province. But let me tell you this, we also are stepping up for uh, uh, Toronto and cities like that across the province for infrastructure. We're building much needed um, roads and subways here in Toronto, but right across the province, health care, hospitals, long-term care, housing. Uh, and I'm really pleased that municipalities right across Ontario are stepping up to our challenge to get more homes built. And uh, as part of our plan, because those people are coming to Ontario, people are wanting to own houses, 400,000, 50,000 people came in on to Ontario in 2022. They got to live somewhere. Uh, we got to keep building the infrastructure and Toronto and other municipalities are key partners. Well, actually, speaking of that, uh, the government has an ambitious goal of building a 1.5 million new homes by 2031. Do you still think you're going to meet that target? I mean, housing starts are down significantly or projected to be down significantly from last year. Oh, absolutely. We, we have a plan and a target to build homes and uh, we're going to get it done. We're going to get it done working with uh, uh, municipalities, working with uh, the private sector, working with the federal government. You know, those uh, housing start predictions uh, don't include our Bill 23 and our plan uh, to move uh, to, uh, to a higher level of construction. And so, you know, we are going to pull out all the stops. I, I'm confident that we'll be able to reach that target. And I know that uh, all the municipalities, I talked to a couple of mayors the other day, they got unanimous support at council, some of our largest cities in Ontario, including Toronto, Ottawa, uh, London, you name it. So uh, we're going to move forward. And, and it's the right thing to do because we want to grow our economy. We want to keep attracting people to Ontario. It's one of the greatest places to live on the planet. Um, I'm the son of Hungarian refugees and they built a good life here. People want a good job, uh, whether it's in uh, St. Thomas with the Volkswagen plant, up in the Ring of Fire, up in the north, uh, in Toronto, right across the province. And you, as you just mentioned, people here want a good life. We're seeing soaring inflation. Many people unable to afford even basic necessities, even groceries. Despite that, this is the largest budget in Ontario's history. And there's lots of criticism that there's nothing in it to address the rising cost of living. Well, first off, uh, I, I def we understand and I think, uh, you know, for some time understand the impacts of inflation, the cost of everything going up. Uh, and that's why uh, we moved very quickly a year ago. So a number of the initiatives that we took to lower the gas tax, to increase the minimum wage, reduce uh, income tax uh, uh, costs for low-income workers, the for seniors, 200,000 low-income seniors, uh, doubling the guaranteed annual income, uh, increasing the Ontario Dis uh, Dis uh, Disability Support Program uh, by 5%, indexing it to inflation, doing even more in today's budget where we are uh, increasing the guaranteed annual income system for another 100,000 low-income seniors, indexing it to inflation for the first time. The gas tax cut is continuing this year. And again, putting uh, uh, some significant money into the homelessness prevention program and significant money into mental health and addiction is really supporting um, many of the most vulnerable in our society. Okay, and the last thing I want to ask you about is the 72 million additional dollars going to expand surgeries outside of hospitals. That includes private clinics. There is lots of criticism that this is going to threaten Ontario's public health care system. Would you agree that this is leading to more privatization? 
Not at all. Categorically not. I mean, I, you know, from the rooftops, you don't, uh, you're not going to have to use your personal credit card. It's the OHIP credit card. And Tina, today, I announced a significant increase into the healthcare sector, some $15 billion over the next three years. You know, unprecedented investment in healthcare. And that's not just for hospitals, it's for home and community care, it's for long-term care, it's for the people that are going to be in these facilities. Uh, I've gotten great responses from people in the home and community care sector, the mental health and addiction sector. Uh, from hospitals, we've increased their budget by 4%. We've got numerous programs to attract more health care workers into this province. We've uh, invested in, in our nurses, our personal support workers. We're increasing medical schools and the number of undergraduates and graduate positions. So we, have, we are doing a lot, but we're going to do it together and we're going to build Ontario together. All right, Minister, thank you so much for joining us. And as we said, there's so much inside today's budget. We've got plenty of analysis for you on citynews.ca.